Barcelona has a wealth of amazing churches. The two most important being the Cathedral of Barcelona and the Basilica La Sagrada Familia. The cathedral was built over a period of 150 years, from the 14th century, and had three architects working on it, covering three distinct periods of architecture. The basilica was started in 1882 and designed by the world-famous architect Antoni Gaudi and is still under construction. Here we compare and contrast the two styles separated by 500 years. Barcelona Cathedral, officially named the Cathedral of the Holy Cross and Saint Eulalia, is located in the Gothic Quarter and is a striking example of Gothic architecture, a style which evolved from Romanesque architecture and was a style widely used for churches and cathedrals until the 16th century. The pointed arches of the ceiling are typical of Gothic architecture as is the emphasis on vertical lines and high ceilings. The importance of the cathedral is noted from vaulted design over five aisles, the outer two being divided into five chapels, and at the east end there are a further five chapels connected by a walkway. The high altar is raised, allowing a clear view into the crypt. Construction of the cathedral's choir started in 1390 under the mandate of Bishop Raymond Descalves. The stalls are one of the most significant sculptural works in the Catalan Gothic style. The canopies and pinnacles were made by the sculptor Michael Lochner at the end of the 15th century. The commemorative shields were painted on the choir stalls in 1518. The cloister is one of the cathedral's most visited elements. Built in the 14th and 15th centuries, it has a quadrangular floor plan and a garden with palm trees, magnolias, an orange tree and a fountain. Thirteen geese live there in memory of Saint Eulalia, who was 13 years old when she was martyred by the Romans in a most gruesome style. Of particular interest are the many side chapels, bedecked with masses of gold leaf and with important artworks, statues, religious artefacts and tombs. Among the tombs are those of various bishops of Barcelona, together with Saint Helena and Saint Lucy. More than 140 saints are represented in the cathedral in the form of altars, Marian dedications and tombs, but the most important of these is Saint Eulalia, whose tomb is in the magnificent Gothic crypt. As co-patron saint of Barcelona, she is held in great respect by the people of this wonderful city. Antoni Gaudi took over as architect of La Sagrada Familia in 1883, combining Spanish Late Gothic, Catalan Modernism and curvilinear Art Nouveau forms, as well as looking to nature for inspiration. Modernist architecture represents a renewal of shapes inspired by nature, the use of new materials and a nationalistic sentiment. In Catalonia, the Catalan Art Nouveau takes on its own personality, differentiated from the rest of Europe. This is shown in the incredible ceiling vaults, which reach 200 feet in height 
representing a spiritual forest where the columns act as trees branching out as they reach the ceiling. Not only is the design symbolic but functional as it avoids the need for buttresses, a traditional feature of Gothic architecture. As can be seen, the stained glass windows are an essential feature of the church. Gaudi gave them the same expressive status as the architecture of the carvings. Traditional techniques have been employed of setting the glass in lead strips in order to play with the shape and rhythm. Guidelines set out by Gaudi explained how the stained glass windows should be arranged in order to achieve a symphony of evocative light and colour. Which is why the windows on the lower part of the side aisles are brightly coloured, whereas those on the upper half are in lighter, almost translucent colours. In the central nave, the windows are a combination of colourless glass of different textures, which makes the geometry of the vaulted ceiling stand out. In 2010, an organ was installed in the chancel. The instrument has 26 stops, 1,492 pipes, on two manuals and a pedal board. As with any of Gaudi's designs, none of the interior surfaces are flat. The ornamentation is rich and comprehensive mostly consisting of abstract shapes which combine smooth curves and jagged points. Even iron railings for balconies and staircases are full of elaboration. Gaudi's original design calls for a total of 18 spires, each symbolising an important biblical figure. Only eight have been completed to date, and of those still to be completed, the tallest will be the central spire of Jesus Christ, surmounted by a giant cross 560 feet high. If finished on time, the project would have taken 153 years, but as Gaudi said, my client is not in a hurry. <laughs>